Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another walkthrough video on Grounded. Now in this walkthrough we are going to be going over the different armor types and specialty pieces of armor that you can wear as well including all the bonuses that you get for each one of the armor types and how they kind of rank due to others. Now I've already crafted up all the different pieces of armor so we are going to start off with the clover armor. So let's get out of here. We're going to open up my, back, my bag here. Here's all the different pieces of armor that you have and I'm going to grab out the clover armor okay now the clover armor is the easiest armor in the game to craft but there's a reason for it it is not very strong so we're going to equip it up this is what it looks like okay when you set them all up so first off they give you a, a bonus to your fuller status meaning you will not lose food as quickly and you can eat a little bit more and then you get a set bonus of moist meaning that you also don't lose your water as quickly so good starter set bad for end game let's move on to the next armor set here i'm going to pull out the acorn gear okay now the acorn gear has a little bit more defense than the uh, clover gear. Okay, so let's go over what the acorn armor actually does. So each piece of the armor will actually give you plus to your max health, okay? So as you can see right here, armor shell that has a bonus to max health, and when you put all three of the pieces on, it gives you a set bonus called uncrackable, which is pretty awesome, okay? The, the uncrackable perk, as I've noticed so far, is that when you're blocking, um, you don't take as much damage and the durability of the armor also goes down slower if you're being attacked. Okay, let's go on and pick up the next um, armor type here, which I put down as the ant armor. Okay, so the reason why I went, it's easier to craft the ant armor than the acorn armor because of what you have to get in order to craft it and where you have to go to craft it. But the ant armor I wanted to do after this one because these two both don't require you to kill anything but mites. Okay, so let's go on to ant armor now. Okay, so here we are. We got the ant helmet, ant uh, chest plate, and ant legs. Let's put those on now. All right. Equip these up. Now, these ones are really cool. So these increase your hauling strength. Okay. And then the set bonus is Hume Ant. Okay, so each one will make it so you can carry more while crafting. So instead of only being able to carry five um pieces of like planks or something like that you'll be able to carry eight and the set bonus the side effect the set bonus human is when you're wearing all five of them you can actually go down into ant caves or walk near ant hives including worker ants and they will not attack you so this is really good if you're building or if you're going to go get your b set armor or anything else that's hidden within that um hidden within the west ant hill okay this is also how you're going to get a lot of ant um eggs because one new ant egg spawns every day so you could go back every day and get some ant eggs and then start making yourself some bombs which is going to help you take on some other uh, some other enemies in the game all right now that we're done with the ant armor let's go back over and let's get my next armor armor that not a lot of people know about which is the grub armor okay now the grub armor it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i think it kind of makes you look like uh um like from mad max a little bit yeah see it's kind of got the big the big glasses and it kind of makes you kind of look like you're wearing some torn up stuff but the bug armor is still this grub armor is still pretty cool okay so each piece of grub armor increases your max stamina and then the set bonus plump and juicy okay this set bonus it's up in the air right so it could be that it makes it so you can eat i think it's what it is is that you can eat more and you can drink more it makes those bars larger i haven't really been able to test a lot with this armor um because it's it's also not a very good armor set to wear so i tend to i made it so i can look at it and put it up on an armor dummy but at the end of the day it doesn't really do a whole lot for you besides giving you some more um, maximum stamina. All right, let's go on to the next armor set here. We're going to go right in here and we're going to grab a very unknown set of, well, not the unknown set of armor yet. We're going to go on to the spider armor. We'll do the spider armor next. The spider armor is pretty cool, okay? I think that the spider armor is neat. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's still pretty neat, okay? Makes it look like a spider on the top of your head. Use some nice black knee pads and uh, the shoulder pad. Okay, so what this does is it gives you hyper stamina. Okay, what that means is as you're running, you deplete all your stamina now, right? But as soon as you're done running, it will like boop and go right back up. Here, I'll show you guys an example now. So I'm going to run and run and run. Oh yeah, I'm on creative, so it doesn't. <laughs> but anyway, 
So that's hyper stamina. And then the other one that you guys get, Hunter's Prowess, I what they're saying that one is. And I've I've done some testing and I've noticed that it's pretty good, but it makes you run slightly faster. So it in I've done a test between this and the aphid slippers, because the aphid slippers are another thing we're gonna go over. But the aphid slippers make it so you run really fast. These ones just increase your running speed a little bit, so you will run faster. These are this is a great exploration set if you're looking for good defense, good exploration, and be able to move around because you could just kind of keep running because your stamina won't run out. Okay, cool. Let's go on to the next armor set, which is by far my favorite armor set in the game, it is the ladybug armor. Okay, now the ladybug armor is the strongest set of armor in the game. You'll be able to take the most damage wearing this armor. Now, it is harder to get because you have to kill ladybugs, which is no easy feat, especially if you don't have any ladybug armor. But it's really, really, really awesome. So, first off, blocking strength. Okay, so the blocking strength that you get from each one of these pieces of armor is fantastic. Because what ends up happening is if you have all three on and you block, you take next to no damage okay so the other thing is the scarlet embrace that comes with this uh armor set as well is you slowly regain health which is incredible right you slowly start to regain health while you're wearing this armor so not only are you being able to run around and take more damage because it's blocking more damage and your blocking strength is higher which is, means as you're blocking and doing fighting that you can block more attacks and when you're done fighting, your health starts to go up without having to use healing pots. So, really good set of armor. I really like this armor. This is my end game armor. This is what I use. But there is one hidden set of armor that is inside of the ant hill, okay? And that is the bee armor, okay? Now, this armor is pretty cool looking as well. This one definitely makes you look like an explorer rogue, right? An adventure. So, I'm going to go ahead and equip this now. Okay, so each one of these increases your sprint um, distance right which makes it so you can just keep on sprinting okay you just go and go and go and go and go fuzzy cushion what this is is the bonus side effect for this one is you can actually fall further without taking damage or when you do fall further you'll take even less damage so it's kind of a coin between the two of them i done some testing it's like 50 50 really but that's kind of what this armor set does you guys you can find this armor set in the west ant hill if you guys want it it is rotten when you get over there so it doesn't have the good stats as much as these ones does so if you guys look I'll, I'll inspect one of them the defense is actually pretty high on these but the rotten one that you get it's actually lower so this is a good one for running around again and also if you're going to be like doing jumping challenges this is a good armor set to have but it's it's not as good as the ladybug armor, but this is kind of a bonus set of armor that you can't actually craft right now in the game. So that's why I want to show you guys this one because you can't craft it, but you can go pick it up. All right, let's move on to bonus pieces of armor that help with different types of things. We're going to start with the aphid slippers. Okay, now these aphid slippers are fantastic pieces of gear. These are like gear, not so much armor. The aphid slippers, they up your quickness, okay? Which means they make you move really fast, okay? Like whenever I'd go out and I'm gonna do exploring, I just need to run somewhere. Like I wanna just run over to the hedge base or something. I'll slap on a pair of aphid slippers and maybe some spider gear to make sure I keep that stamina, that hyper stamina up. Um, and then I'll just start going, woo, just take off, right? Because these aphid slippers make you incredibly fast if you wear them. So I would suggest wearing these guys. They're really, really good sets of slippers. I didn't even put them on and I was still running quick. But anyway, um, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. Okay, next one is Eye Patch and Eye Patch Plus. Okay, so there is a little bit of um, information that goes behind Eye Patch Plus, but Eye Patch, when it first get it, it's gonna up your stamp, your attack, okay? Which means it's gonna make you hit harder. All right, so if you need to just go on, you need to hit things, then this one's for you. The eye patch is the art, the gear for you. But wearing the eye patch, um, it doesn't have as much defense, right? It has next to no defense, so you got to be careful. Okay, you could make it so you just attack wicked quick, but you're gonna die wicked quick too. So you got to be careful when you're wearing it. Now, eye patch plus you get from Burgle. After you get a bunch of science points, you can go and research it from him. Okay, and what it does is gives you plus attack stamina, meaning you do not use as much stamina when you're attacking. This is really helpful when you're taking on some of the bigger enemies, or if you're taking on like the ant hill and you're gonna go and you're gonna try to take out all the ants because you just need a bunch of ant parts for whatever reason but what i would say is just be careful with this armor set because there's low it's or this piece of armor that's not an armor set but this 
piece of armor because it has very low defense. In fact, it's the lowest defense piece of gear in the game. Okay. Going on, we're going to talk about the Might Hat. Now, the Might Hat, there's not a lot to it. Okay, it's it's a cool looking hat. It gives you hyper stamina. Um, it increases your stamina efficiency, right? It's going to do the same thing that the Spider Gear is going to do. It's going to make sure that not only are you increasing your stamina, but it also your stamina is going to recharge quicker. It kind of makes you look like a cold weather hat. My hope is in the game that they add like seasons. So as you're running around sooner or later, it'll become winter and you'll be required to wear a hat like this. Or you have to go into like... Uh, like a refrigerator or something like that where you're gonna need uh, some sort of or like a freezer or something something like that and then get into another base where you're gonna need to wear some cold weather gear I'm hoping that's what this is hinting at um, all right and talking about the last piece of gear here is the gas mask now by in far probably one of my favorite and most useful pieces of gear in the game is this gas mask okay the gas mask it looks cool it is cool it's needed in order to run around that area where all the gas is by the fumigator in order to go to, over towards the head the haze base in order to go get the infected weevils and the infected mites in order to make bombs this is just a huge 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 needed piece of armor and i would suggest everybody to make one of these it's not that hard but you do need to kill some higher level enemies in order to get it but once you have it your life is going to become so much easier to do exploring because you need one of these it has just a little bit more defense than the actual eye patch but not by much so guys that is all of the armor in the game please let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite set of armor look wise and which one you will use the most while you're running around in the game of grounded i love this game i put so many hours into the game i hope you guys like my walkthrough videos that i've done so far and if you do hit that like button for me or subscribe today and as always guys i will see all of you guys in the next one